the wars are over, the rebels have been dealt with, everything's being cored. We're still converting Catholic provinces to Reformed. Um, avoiding the Orthodox provinces for now. Uh, eventually we'll get the Tolerance of Heretics plus three from our Polish uh, ambition, so that'll be great. We can take another Diplo ID or exploration idea. We'll take Colonial Range. Okay. A few months and we'll have our course finished. I'm currently fabricating claims on Fair and uh, Skov. Skov has no allies. They hate us, but they have no allies. Convert to the Vista. This on this stability uh, fervent focus or uh, the fervent focus is not uh, staying around for us for too long because of our religious unity and our stability. Uh, the families left behind. The recent war took a heavy toll on our people. Many were called. Few returned. The no, few, no, families of nobles and commoners alike toiled as they waited for soldiers to return home. But the war ended and they never did. Now the toiling continues, and many being pre so preoccupied with the work to make up for the lost pair of hands that they barely have time to grieve. Of the ones who have time to think, many are increasingly thinking that we have been throwing away lives too carelessly. We can ease the tax burden, burden on the bereaved. Let's be more lenient in drafting for the army in the future. This is a 10 year modifier, or a, no, it's only a five year modifier. Or that is the price that must be paid for our glorious nation. Plus two national unrest, which I'm was I was hoping to get stop doing that. Um, I'm willing to take the hit to manpower, even though I do need it right now, kind of. I'll increase the maintenance a little bit so that. Uh, men reach my armies faster. What's going on up in Sweden? Danish separatists. Alright, I don't know why they have occupied that place that is nowhere near Danish territory. Oh, Denmark has uh, integrated Norway. I didn't even realize that. So, we could see a Danish Greenland uh, form. Who are they allied with? Just Saxe Lauenburg. So, uh, when we need to, we can take Kaxholm. Even though Sweden already has a core on it. Please tell me Sweden's rival to Denmark. They are. Almost done with the last core. Switzerland's winning wars. Look at the Papal State. That I've never seen the AI Papal State do that. Then again, the, it, like there's been a lot of things weird in this game. A Burgundian France, a Papal State Italy, and Southern France, and an Aragonian and Morocco uh, Iberian Peninsula. Um, we can fabricate the claim on Tver.
what is their opinion like? Okay, it's at 200 still. And uh, it's been improved to 188, so we're still good there. How much does it cost to pay back this lo these loans? 593 will be the, to the first one in a month. And we no longer are dealing with revolts. People are finding lots, or I guess we are still a little bit. Just Kasimov and Turgavista. Uh, people are finding lots of ways of getting around paying taxes and fees on moving goods. This is cutting into our income, but stopping it, it would cost quite a, a lot in the short term. Stop them, lose money. Or it's too expensive. Well, I guess we're not paying back a loan right now. Portugal, Portugal declared war on Charua. Apparently Charua is Sweden. Probably because we haven't met them yet. We gain about a thousand troops every two months. Or a little over a thousand troops every two months. Oh, I don't need my diplomat uh, fabricating claims on uh, on Tver anymore. I might as well increase, improve my relations with Belazera. Or... Is there anyone else that I might be able to improve relations with? Bukhara, maybe? No. No, I think they hold land that I want. Uh, the Papal State we don't need to maintain relations with anymore. Are there any uh, heirs that would be better than this guy? A 31-year-old, 345. Is it 624? 524. Um, nope, I'm hope I'm gonna hope that this guy wins. So yeah, let's uh, improve our relations with Bellow Zero more. Just accept a peace with their with somebody. Army is the way to glory. Our focus on land has left many feeling that we have an excellent army. Some of our brightest and best wish to become officers and gain prestige. Oh, right. Uh, my st stability is at zero. And I can probably increase it for... Um, a reasonable amount. Now the Kasimov re uh, rebels are only at uh, 0 0.05, or not 0 0.05, 0 0.5% uh, uh, chance to increase their uh, faction every month. Oh, Tver is at war with Muscovy. I guess that's going to give us a quick claim on Muscovy when they win that war. Advancement of the merchant classes, the status of the burghers does not rest on the same old traditions as that of the slacked and the, or of the clergy. Instead, they have d had to make their own fortunes by working diligently and then risking the profit to, get, to again expand their businesses. Uh, they gain influence. Um, Aragon won a war with Genoa. 
Is Genoa still there? Still existing? They're actually an Eastern European power now, rather than a Western. When does the uh, our loan expire? First of May, fifteen forty. So we have about a year to make two hundred, uh, hundred ninety gold. I don't think we're going to have enough. No, we'll only make about 120, I think. Oh, well, no, well. Take that back. We'll make about 160 something. Maybe we can get a good event. Bella Zero is maxed out on relations again. Can we kick that up just to buy one one gold, one docket? It's probably still not going to be enough, but uh, Yarmir Sugorsky. Uh, he is a very proficient. Merchant, renowned for his attempts to improve trade customs and to stabilize the economy for over our nation. I can gain stability and some diplo power. That sounds good. No tech has converted to reformed. Oh, that was because of a center of reformation. I don't really have uh, mind having Protestant stuff in my country. Shouldn't really mind having Catholic stuff either. I think after I finish converting the current one that I'm converting, I'm going to stop for now. Bremen declared war upon their new enemy, Dith Martian. I can fabricate a claim on Skov. And I think I'm going to wait until I have both of their uh, provinces fa uh, claimed before I do anything with it. Should I... Yeah, I'm going to switch to a uh, different guy. And... I'm going to turn on trade uh, fervent focus, and we're actually still gaining uh, fervor, fervor points now because we're uh, at positive stability. So we should have enough to pay off that first loan by the time it's due, but not the second one. We'll have to renew the second one. I also didn't take into account the uh, amount of interest we're paying every month so that's actually coming down and this guy happens to reduce our inflation which isn't too high but uh, between the trader and the uh, inflation the uh, what is he master of mint um, there's a chance we can get the event that will give us points in both Diplo and Admin. Which I will hope for.
Brandenburg declared war upon Lubeck. And I can invest in another exploration idea. We get plus 5% discipline now. And I think my manpower, well, no, it hasn't really recovered all that much. I'm going to go ahead and increase my maintenance. And move in to... I'm going to move into Skov first. Hold on. 19 and 21. 32 in Reval. Let's go do let's go stay up there for now. Just start moving in. I'm not declaring the war yet. I will increase the maintenance on or yeah, increase the maintenance on some of these forts. What is our current favor situation? 15 for Sweden, 22 with Bohemia, I will actually increase trust with them, and 14 for Aragon. Chances are we'll never call Aragon into a uh, an offensive war, so I'm not going to... Ooh, I take that back. We could probably call them against the Ottomans yet, but I have no desire to go, get, go to war with, against the Ottomans right now, so... And, of course, I'm going to take some unnecessary attrition. People sharing maps with each other. I can repay that loan. And, yeah, I think I'm going to stop converting for now. And I'm going to wait until I have five, uh, 25 spy network build up to fabricate a claim on Skov. And then we'll move in, take care of the Skovian uh, revolutionaries, and then conquer Skov. Our, exp our, our aggressive expansion against Novgorod is huge. We've renewed our loan. No guy in the Great Horde are at war with each other. Wait, what? Last I checked, Muscovy was winning that fight, that war. Alright. It's kind of funny. I mean... Sure. It's great. Weird, but great. Muscovy's only got three counties left. Or three death... Almost, I said counties, and then I said... Almost said duchies. Provinces. Three provinces left. And no, it's... Actually five. Maybe I should... I don't know. Think before I speak. Uh, Skov has been building spy network with us. We're actually gaining eight gold a month right now. Okay, so yeah, that's going to tell me that I have high fervor until I choose a second one and I'm losing points every month, but I'm not going to do that. I will, however, change it over to war. Uh, Ottoman 
Ravens were building a spy network against me. Couple more months and then we can declare a war on Skov. Actually, that would be the one that I want to send my main army to. For now. Now that I think about it, maybe... Let me see. 20, 24 there. 25 in Smolensk. It's probably the best way to go. And then take these guys up to start on the capital first. Vormia has converted to reformed due to the center of reformation. Take a little bit of attrition. I probably don't actually need my forts up right now because they're uh, let's be honest they're probably not going to be able to make it into my land to take any territory. How do they keep moving out, getting black flagged, and then moving back in? Getting black flagged means they don't have military access. Was that either of ours? No. Um, yeah, I don't. That's just weird to me. To Colm, and then back to Skov, and every time they get black flagged. I don't know what, I don't know what, uh, what is up with that. Okay, I'm going to move my army in. We'll take a little bit of attrition for a couple months while the uh, claim is fa uh, finishes fabricating. Oh, no, I guess we won't. It's not winter, so... And we've got a general in charge with some maneuver. Twenty-four point eight. So close. We can invest in military tech. Not yet, I think. Wait a couple of years, maybe. Why are we gaining that so much? We could probably save on some money by not having a higher military advisor. Right. Fabricate the claim. Call back the spy. And... I'm going to declare this war. Skov. I'll take Ostro first. Oh yeah, Belazir is going to come into my war, of course. Does this guy have any siege ability? Yeah. So, uh... Once we occupy this and, uh... Defeat the armies... These guys will start on the siege, and then we'll move these guys in to... Where are they going? Let's just do this right away. And it's, this war's pretty much over already.
All we have to do is siege down Skov and this will become occupied in a few days. Done and done. And I'm going to move these guys out. What is the supply limit here? It's 18 right now. I don't know if that's... Due to us being a hostile army. And... Right, so, I don't know. Hey, we have a lot of military power. Let's barrage to put a hole in the wall. And we're already at 7%. I'll let a siege tick pass. It's pretty good. Um, And I'm going to end the episode here.